Hey guys, welcome to my channel, and like always, I'm Brian. Now, what could easily be recognized as the bane of the existence for most people in the computer world is boot up time. It usually takes the longest, and it, you have to wait for it before you can start any task. Now, we know that SSDs are hands down faster than regular hard drives, so I'm not even going to argue that point. But I had this idea. What would happen if you took your old hard drive and cloned it to an SSD, and then took that hard drive, wiped it, and put a clean OS on it? Which one of those would be faster? So that's what I'm going to be testing out today, and I'm going to be doing it with a little bit of Chanley style. Okay guys, so what I'm going to be using as my test bed is my old Toshiba Satellite L505. If you guys want to go ahead and Google that, you can, but I'll give you a basic rundown. It's got a Core 2 Duo in it. I think it's a 6400T or whatever, something like that. It's got 3 gigabytes of RAM and a 5400 RPM hard drive. And that's what's important. Yes, that is slower than most hard drives because most hard drives are 7200 RPMs. So at the end of the video, I will be talking about theoretical speeds versus... Uh, what speeds I actually got just to give you guys a better idea of what you could come out with with a regular hard drive versus a regular SSD. The SSD that I picked up is this crucial um, it is a crucial M500 um, it's a terabyte so it's a little bit of an overkill in size and it's your run it's spit your basic run of mill SSD it's not your fastest SSD but it's definitely much faster than a than a hard drive, so I think it'll work just fine. I already went ahead and ran the, the uh, test for my, you know, my base, what it, what it boots up at right now before I changed anything on it, and it's running at about a minute, 55 seconds for a full boot up. Now, if you guys want to know how to check out your boot up time without having to download extra software, I will also be doing a little instructional video of how to do that at the end. So if you stay tuned, again, until after I talk about other things that I'm going to talk about, then I'll show you how to do that as well. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and throw the SSD in, and then I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with the tests. This testing process actually took longer than I thought it was going to. I was getting really weird numbers, so I just kept running the test over and over again until everything smoothed out. I ended up running the test on the SSD and the, the uh, freshly installed OS on the, H, on the regular hard drive. I ended up running it 12 times each, just so that I could get a decent average, because the numbers were really high once and then super low again, and I just I didn't feel like running it three times each, wasn't an, that just wasn't enough times. So anyway, the SSD clone from the old bogged down OS ended up averaging out at about 80 seconds boot time. That made it about 35 seconds faster than the original boot time from the original hard drive and OS. The freshly installed, what I got right here, basically ground zero, all the updates, just a couple of programs, really nothing on the hard drives booted up in 79 and a half seconds. So just slightly faster than the SSD, which actually kind of surprised me. I really thought the SSD would win anyway. That's when we come into actual theoretical uh, speeds like I was talking about before, because this is only a 5400 RPM hard drive. So that runs at about 25% less than a regular hard drive running at 7200 RPMs. And then if you guys want to do the math for something like a Velociraptor running at uh, 10,000 RPMs, you guys can go ahead and do that on your own. But anyway, once you take that into fact, theoretically, this hard drive could boot in exactly 59 seconds. So it actually beat out the SSD. This really just comes into something when you're worried about boot time. Do you really want to spend the time um, basically formatting your hard drive and reinstalling the OS and the few programs that you need to be productive? Or would you rather just clone it to an SSD and spend the extra cash? That's really where it falls into there because that's just on you guys what you want to do. For me, this isn't really a productive laptop, so I'm not going <laughs> to... 
At this point, the SSD probably costs more than this entire laptop, so I'm just going to leave it this clean install, and that's how I'm going to use it, because really, I just need to check my email and respond to you guys when you comment on my channel. Now let's get into me showing you guys how to look at your boot times, just in case you're wondering how to do that. It's actually really simple. So first thing to apologize to you guys, this laptop is so old, there was no way for me to do a screen capture on it. But one of the ways you can do this, if you're doing like Windows 7 or Windows 8, you right click on my PC, you go to Managed, and you go to the Event Viewer. Now I'm going to pause it right there, because I'm going to show you the other way, because at this point, both ways converge. So don't need that. What you can do for Windows 10 is you go to Settings, type in Event, or Even, and you get Event Logs. And then you see you're right at your event viewer. So you type in, or you don't type, you hit applications, Microsoft, Windows, and you're going to scroll down till you get something named Diagnostic Performance. Click on that, and then here's where you have all your different logs for diagnostics. Click on Event ID because you want them to be in order. And your hundreds are your actual boot logs. And this will show you um, how fast your computer booted in milliseconds. And this says 63,781 milliseconds. So you divide by 1,000 to get it by seconds. And if you want to turn it into minutes, you can do that math as well. And that is how you check your boot times. Okay, so the last thing I want to leave you guys with before I wrap this up is the fact that the, 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 the weird times that I got. The, sh the longest amount of time that it took the SSD to boot up was about a minute and 47 seconds, while the hard drive actually took two minutes and 25 seconds. Those were the longest times. The shortest times, however, the hard drive one booting up in 47 seconds, and the shortest SSD time was 62 seconds. So I thought that was a little strange um, that's why I ran the, the test so much because the, the numbers were just all over the place for boot up times. I did run all the tests on Windows 10 just in case you guys were wondering. That's, I figured that'd be the best way to do it. And last, the SSD actually gave me more consistent scores while the hard drive gave me like, gave me like really high scores and then really low scores and, and it was really confusing. But that's probably because it's a six year old hard drive. I bet if I had a newer hard drive it would make more sense. So that's something to take into account too when you're when you're contemplating reformatting your computer. So anyway, um, I guess the hard drive won in the case of uh, cloning versus new OS install or, or you know starting fresh, and that actually really surprised me. I thought SSDs would win always. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, feel free to leave comments down below. Like this video if you thought it was interesting or if you've ever had the same thought yourself. Uh, feel free to contact me on social media. All my links are in the description down below. And guys, don't forget, if you ever do anything from my videos, take pictures of it. Send it to my Facebook. Tweet it to me. Uh, send me imager links. I don't care. I want to see what you guys are doing channel style because that lets me know that what I'm doing is helping you. And I love seeing your guys' projects. And if you send me pictures and you want tips, I can help you directly, like, hey, move this over here, or, nah, it looks good, just keep it that way. Um, but that's what I'm doing, and I want to help you guys, and if you interact with me more, I can help you more, and that's just the way I want to do things. But anyway, this was SSD versus hard drive, done Chanley style.